Welcome, Carl. Hi, Jess. Hello. Thank you for speaking to me today from Australia. Indeed. My pleasure to join you. Yeah, it's lovely to speak to you. And um, the book's amazing. I really enjoyed reading the book. So let's Thanks. start by talking about what do we mean by woke capitalism? It'd be great if you could talk us through the concept and give a couple of examples from the book that particularly highlight the issue. Certainly. I mean, woke capitalism really is referring to a situation that we're in now where it seems that increasing numbers of corporations and particularly large multinational, often uh, US-based corporations, are aligning themselves with social movements of various kinds and kind of social political positions of various kinds, often inv involves widespread publicity and advertising around this, uh, public, uh, and it's publicly supporting these positions. But what's really interesting about it, the, the positions being supported are the ones that traditionally might have been associated with progressive or left politics, mm -hmm. things like Black Lives Matter, uh, Me Too, um, LGBTIQ rights and so forth. Um, so it's very much corporations pursuing a progressive agenda. Uh, and sometimes uh, the term itself, woke capitalism, is usually used pejoratively, um, often associated with political correctness and virtue signaling uh, on the part of corporations. I mean, you mentioned, uh, as you introduced, Nike's uh, Colin Kaepernick, campaign which connected Nike to the Black Lives Matter movement. You mentioned Gillette. They had this campaign, The Best a Man Can Be, which was addressing toxic masculinity in the wake of the Me Too campaign. I mean, there's other examples. I mean, earlier this year, a Silicon Valley startup company called um, Better Up hired Prince Harry, of all people, as their chief impact officer. Yes, um, designed to help them get, get impact. And this is a, a career coaching company hiring someone whose uh, achievements are perhaps not originated as merit-based, but more by birthright um, involved in career coaching. So again, this is seen as, as kind of woke capitalism. And it's usually criticized um, uh, by kind of shouty conservatives and you know from the reactionary side of politics saying that this is an aberration of what business should be about. And, you know, some even going as far as saying there is some kind of socialist takeover uh, of business. I mean, there's no grounds to that, but that's the kind of rhetoric we hear from yeah. pundits of, of that type. 